good morning students today here we want to discuss we will discuss a very very important topic a very very important thing at how to attempt the gate exam it doesn't matter for how many months you are preparing whether it is 6 months a year a month or 3 months whether you are a college dropout you are working in mtech you are working in a job it doesn't matter at all what matters is those 3 hours those 3 hours matters the most aapne kitni mehnat ki ho kitni bhi preparation ki ho if those 3 hours doesn't works well agar wo 3 ghante sahi se nahi gaye to problem hai so ultimately jo bhi aapne hard work kiya hoga so that hard work will go into vain so it's very very important to know ki what to do and what not to do in those 3 hours so this video and the next 10 minutes will be very 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 helpful for you because just after the 30 days you have to face an examination for which you are preparing since 6 months or more than it so welcome again so how to prepare for the gate exam and how to attempt the gate exam for the preparation part i already made a video you can look into the comment box there are links but how to attempt the gate exam for this we will discuss so when you enter in that examination hall the paper was on flashing on to you most of the students what they did jaise wo examination mein baithe paper start hua sabse pehle students kya karte hai they start with the question number 1 then they solve it they start with the question number 2 and generally the aptitude section was shown to them first and after solving the 10 questions of aptitude they move on to the general branch general engineering branch now in doing so kuch questions aapse hote hai kuch questions nahi hote hai agar kuch questions ho jate hai you are lucky you feel confident and then you move on with the confidence or aaram se fir aap question karte rehte ho but initially agar questions solve nahi hote hai so ultimately the confidence break down वो गिर जाता है एंड जो क्वेश्चन आगे सोल्व होने वाला होता है वो भी सोल्व नहीं हो पाता सडनली यू स्टार्ट टू फॉर गेटिंग द थिंग्स सडनली द थिंग्स डजेंट हिट योर माइंड सो इट विल हैपन सो इट जस्ट अबाउट द इनिशियल मोमेंटम हाउ यू आर अटेम्प्टिंग इनिशियली सो हेयर आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू द वे है ना एंड इफ यू फॉलो दैट वे यूर सक्सेस इज गारंटेड गारंटेड सक्सेस ओके and the formula the formula for success is very very simple and that formula is just focus on your strengths apne strength pe focus karo and play with all your strength jo bhi aapki strengths hai jin subjects mein aapki strength hai un subjects ke sath pehle deal karo aur jin mein aapki strength thodi kam hai un subjects ko baad mein deal karo so what is the strategy the strategy is very simple don't attempt don't attempt the gate exam as it is try to sort it out sorting is very very important like what is sorting if you go on to the flipkart or amazon to buy something there is an option known as sort sort from high price to low price sort from low price to high price sort with the help of brands sorting with the help of sizes sorting is very important and when you sort something you get the thing of your desire otherwise in a bunch of options available it would be very very difficult for you to choose the one so ultimately the main point is sorting so that is the most important point sort your exam or paper you can say paper sort your paper and that is a most important task so when you enter in the gate exam 15 to 20 minutes you have before the start start hone se pehle 15 se 20 minute aapke paas hote hai in those 15 to 20 minutes the scribble pad that is given to you on one page of the scribble pad just write down the subjects of your branch in a way in a descending order of your preference like for example if i like a subject let's say for heat transfer the most i will write it is and then if i like the mathematics i will write maths the second number i want to see math at the second number and then if i want to see the control preference wise 
control is at the third. Then if I want to, let's say, look at the SOM, it is at the fourth. Then let's say soil. Then let's say electric machines. It's a mixture of subjects of all branches. But what I'm here to tell you is, just write down all the 12 subjects or 14 subjects all 10 subjects of your branch in an order of preference 12 se 14 ya 10 jo bhi aapke branch mein subject hai un sare subjects ko ek aise preference order mein likho jisme aap un subjects ko dekhna chahte ho if you like the subject a one subject just write it down on the first five and if there is subjects that you didn't prepare well, jin mein aapne achche se preparation nahi ki hai, ya jin mein aap kam confident ho, just write down in the last. So before entering the gate exam, the sorting must be clear in your mind. So whenever you are attempting the test series, then in the test also, first of all, sort according to the subject, then prepare according to them. So the subjects in which you are comfortable, just do them first and in which you are less comfortable do them on the second turn so that is the most important thing sort so when the exam is on jaise exam flash hoga there is an option in the right hand side down is caution paper this is option of caution paper so just click on that option of caution paper and when you click it on the whole caution paper will be seen onto the screen pura caution paper dikhai dega so caution paper pe click karte hi caution paper visible hoga aur aapka us time pe kaam kya hoga just read out the questions in the caution paper just read out fast and just read and after reading just try to find out ki ye jo question hai ye kis subject ka hoga that whether this question belongs to heat, whether this question belongs to math, control, SOM, soil. Let's say the first question and the first question belongs to control. So just write down first, number one. Then second question belongs to electric machine. Just write down here second. Then third question belongs to soil. Write down third here. Fourth question belongs to math. Right here. Fifth question belongs to control again. Sixth question belongs to math. 7th belongs to SOM, 8th belongs to ST, 9th belongs to MATH, 10th belongs to CONTROL, 11th belongs to SOM, 12th belongs to EM, 13th belongs to SOIL, like that, just sort all the 65 questions, out of the 65, 55 is of your engineering and 10 are of FT, so sort 55 questions according to the subjects, sort them, that may be 33, 40, 23, 29, 50, 49, 47, 42. Sort them. It won't take more than 5 minutes. But those 5 minutes will save your 1 hour at least. So sort the exam according to the order of preference of your subject. Now what happens if you didn't sort and you just move on with the paper? What happens is, you get a question of one subject, so hold your mind, is focused on to that subject, all the files, all the notes, all the questions that you studied about that subject will come into your mind. As the question is finished, you move on to the next, that next question is of next subject, so your mind have to shift to another subject with another files. So, as you have a question finished, you have to shift your mind to one subject from the other subject. One subject from the other subject to the other subject. The other subject to the other subject to Remember, the mind works as a computer. So, you have to close one window and you have to open another window. Now, in closing and in opening, it will take time. And that time is known as the dead time. And if you move on, there will be a dead time after each and every problem and may happen, it may happen that in one subject the mind will not be able to open all the files and ultimately that thing you don't remember. When you question, you forget something, you don't remember, you don't remember. You don't remember any formulas, you don't remember any concepts, it's not coming in the mind. That is just because you are shuffling subject to subject. But if you sort the exam subject-wise, what will happen? Let's say, you 
attempt heat first. So what you will gonna do? You will click on question number eight. Then what will happen? The question number eight will flash out. And you attempt the question number eight. What files are open opened in the mind is ST heat transfer. So the files open हो रखी है वो ST हो रखी है. So what will happen after you uh, finish eight? You click on thirty three. For which subject? Same subject. Same files. The mind doesn't need to open another subject files. Same files. You finish it. You click on this forty. Forty question comes up. You attempt that. Again, same files. So mind now didn't have to jump from one subject to another subject. So when the sub files of one subject had been opened, you are attempting all the questions of that subject only. So it becomes easy for you and your mind to give the best in every question. And then you move on to the mathematics. Then you attempt all these question numbers. Which subject ki file open or kya mind me mathematics ki. So with the help of this, your mind can give the best in the mathematics. So that is a trick, and it's a very very important trick that whenever you attempt the exam, attempt subject wise, and attempt those subject first in which you are strong. Because if you attempt top five subjects, वो top five जो जिसमें आप comfortable हो, so उन top five subjects वो attempt करने के बाद you will cross fifty easily, very easily. And when you cross fifty, you will be highly confident because not only you cleared the gate, but also you will have a good rank in gate. Now to get again a better rank, you will start doing next five subjects also. तो जैसे ही आप उन चीजों को करना शुरू कर देते हो कॉन्फिडेंस आता रहता है आपको लग रहा है कि क्वेश्चंस ठीक हो रहे हैं मार्क्स ठीक आ रहे हैं तो जैसे जैसे आप आगे बढ़ते हो कॉन्फिडेंस आता जाता है और वही कॉन्फिडेंस फिर आपको आगे क्वेश्चंस करने में हेल्प करता है सो अल्टीमेटली दिस इज द ट्रिक दट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो मस्ट सॉर्ट द क्वेश्चन पेपर फर्स्ट एंड देन अटेम्प्ट द क्वेश्चन पेपर अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रेफरेंस ऑफ योर सब्जेक्ट